I'm just trying to make it. I'm trying to make a video. I can't make a video. The video is about you. Yeah, about you. I can't make. Okay, hi. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Maya the Huskies vlog channel. I'm Alex. This is Maya. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, high five. Oh my god. Oh. All right, so today's video is going to be about the day where I got Maya as a puppy. Here's a picture of Maya as a puppy right here. You're a very cute puppy, Maya. <laughs> when I was 21, I went on Kijiji. It's basically like the Canadian version of Craigslist, so I don't condone anyone like ever finding a puppy on there unless you're doing it to actually uh, rescue or uh, owner surrender and whatnot. So yeah, that's, don't do that. Don't do what I did and don't go on to Craigslist or Kijiji. So I went on Kijiji and I searched up Husky puppies. Her litter was like the first thing that popped up. I was like, oh, I need this. I need this dog. I saw Maya and I was like, okay, you know what? I don't want to pick out a dog just yet. I want to meet the dogs like in person. So I texted the lady saying, hi, my boyfriend and I are here to see the dogs. It took her like 15 minutes to come out. Um, I guess it was crazy having all the puppies and she's like, is there a certain husky you want to see? And I was like, you know what? I kind of wanted to see all of them, but this is before I knew that there was two litters. So when she said, oh, can you help me get all the puppies? I was like, Okay, sure. So <laughs> my boyfriend, Steph, and I and the lady and her husband go upstairs and we're all holding like five or six huskies in our arms like this to bring them downstairs. I've like, I've never seen, it literally looked like a cartoon. I was like, oh my gosh. So all the huskies are downstairs. Um, they're all running around, peeing, pooping, absolutely everywhere, going crazy. And then you have this dog, which finally fell asleep. Oh, never mind. And then there was Maya over here who was just like the chillest puppy ever she uh walked up to steph and i and she sat and she looked right up at us and i was like i think this is the puppy i think this is the one i want i think it was you she's getting mad because i'm not paying attention to her <laughs> maya actually didn't show up on the ultrasound for her litter so she was born i think an hour or so after all the other puppies so they had no clue maya was even a thing so <laughs> Uh, Maya was the runt. She was unexpected and she was the one that I got. Mm -hmm. So we show up to Steph's house to show his parents Maya. She was the tiny cutest little thing. This is the picture right outside of his house when we first brought her there. His parents absolutely fell in love with Maya. They love dogs but they love other people's dogs but they do have a dog. So uh, Steph's mom and dad are like okay so what about your parents? I know they don't want a dog and you have a cat. I was like yeah whatever. My, my parents don't care. They, my dad loves dogs. My mom loves dogs. Everyone loves dogs. It's all good. We get back to my house and my dad's not home yet. Steph's there with me and my mom's like uh, I'm not touching this puppy. Once I hold it I'm gonna fall in love and I'll never be able to like let it go because it's just so cute. So my dad comes home and he's like he was like, whose dog is this? Is this Steph's new dog? I'm like, no, this is our new dog. This is Maya. Meet Maya the Husky. <laughs> he lost it. He absolutely like lost it. My dad did not want a dog. So my dad kicks me out and I can't bring Maya to Steph's house to live there like forever. So we stayed there for a couple nights. I was couch chopping a little bit from other people's houses as well, but it's mostly at Steph's house. So after a couple of days of staying with Steph's family, I ended up going back home with Maya and like my dad, she just threw a ball at me. My dad wasn't home. I still had no intention of like coming back home, but I just wanted to show my mom the puppy because my mom was on my side, <laughs> obviously. So she was like, um, okay, come home with Maya. So my mom picked up Maya. She instantly, instantly fell in love. Then my dad comes home and I said, listen. I'm still telling the story. Is that okay? I love to go play with the cat, but um, basically I explained to my dad, I am fully capable of taking care of a husky. I've done so much research on um, huskies growing up, what they need. I was able to convince my dad. He said, okay, if you are able to care for the dog and whatever, train it, um, I'll give you a chance. So I did get a chance. He did let me back home. So here's Maya and my dad. They are completely best friends. You guys see um, grandpa is in our main channel sometimes. Uh, he's obsessed with Maya. He absolutely loves her. So yeah, it all worked out in the end. Um, just whatever you do, if you are planning on getting a husky, just know they do take a lot of work. Huskies can become very destructive if they're not getting the amount of exercise that they need. Maya's probably been the best thing that's ever happened to our family. She brought us so much closer together. You know, going to the park with the dog, going to the beach with the dog. Everyone absolutely loves Maya. Every person that has met Maya 
falls in love with her. She is such an angel. You guys know. You guys all love Maya. So let us know down below what you want to see from us. Um, we're going to have longer content on here because I know you guys want to see more of what Maya does on a day to day. Rather than just Maya talking and speaking English, uh, you get to see what she does as a husky. So it's going to be exciting to bring you guys on these adventures. It's going to be really fun. I'm really excited for this channel. Maya, say thank you for watching. <laughs> and can you say subscribe? <laughs>